Captain. Hello everyone. In this session, we will be learning about capital structure ratio or a debt equity ratio. Debt equity ratio. Now, capital capital structure capital means your sources of fund, long term sources of funds for the business. Okay, long term. Okay, so that shows your long term solvency position of an organization. Okay, so basically capital is divided into two. One is owner's fund and other one is borrowed fund. Okay, owner's fund is also known as equity. Borrowed funds is known as debt. Now equity or owner's fund will include what? It will include your equity shareholders preference shareholders and reserves and surplus borrowed fund borrowed fund will include your secured loans and unsecured loans but this has to be a long term loan because short term uh, loans will be included in your current liability so long term loans so now this borrowed fund may be from your bank okay or it may be by issue of debentures or any other source okay so basically capital structure ratio will show you what is the position of your sources of fund how much is the owner's fund how much is the borrowed fund so once you analyze your capital structure ratio you will be able to know if you are optim optimally utilizing your debt and equity okay so now in this session we will be learning about what is the debt equity ratio now debt equity ratio as the name itself suggests debt equity ratio is nothing but debt upon equity debt means your borrowed funds upon equity equity means owner's fund so borrowed funds is what your secured loans plus unsecured loans long term plus debentures upon your equity shareholders plus preference shareholders plus reserves and surplus so if you see debt equity ratio indicates the proportion of debt fund in the relation to the equity okay this ratio is very often referred in the capital structure decision as well as in the legislation also while dealing capital structure decision that is issue of new shares or debentures this ratio is referred then lenders or the your equity shareholders or even your lenders who are lending you debt are also keen to know what are the relative weights of debt and equity so accordingly they will know if their debts are secured or not so this ratio is very important okay now debt equity ratio is an indicator of leverage okay so what is a leverage leverage is optimum utilization of your capital optimum utilization of capital okay that is your debt plus equity so it depends on the nature of business then cost of funds right and the position current position of business long term liquidity position of the business so optimum utilization of capital is known as leverage now this debt equity ratio is a indicator of leverage 
सो यूजिंग दिस डेट इक्विटी रेशो यू कैन फाइंड आउट कि हाउ मच मोर डेट यू कैन टेक ओके सो टू रेड्यूस द इक्विटी एंड वॉट इज़ द बैलेंस हाउ हाउ टू मेनटेन द बैलेंस बिटवीन द डेट एंड इक्विटी सो एज टू रेड्यूस योर कॉस्ट ऑफ फंड्स ओके एंड यूटिलाइज योर कैपिटल टू द ऑप्टिमम लेवल ओके ना लेट्स सी वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग अ डेप्ट इक्विटी रेशियो सो ना दिस इज अ एग्जाम्पल इन द बुक्स ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड कंपनी लिमिटेड बैलेंस शीट एज ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन यू हैव पर्टिकुलर्स करंट ईयर अमाउंट करंट ईयर अमाउंट ओके देन इन दैट यू हैव सोर्सेस ऑफ फंड शेयर होल्डर्स फंड ना दिस शेयर होल्डर शेयर होल्डर्स फंड इंक्लूड्स योर इक्विटी प्लस प्रेफरेंस शेयर होल्डर्स ओके देन रिजर्व एंड सर्प्लस इज थ्री लैक लोन सेक्योर्ड लोन एंड अनसेक्योर्ड लोन टू लैक एंड वन लैक रिस्पेक्टिवली सो ऑल दीज आर लॉन्ग टर्म लोन लॉन्ग टर्म लोन्स ओके नाउ योर टोटल ऑफ सोर्सेस ऑफ फंड कम्स टू लेवन लैक सो आउट ऑफ विच द फंड आर यूज एज फॉलोइंग दैट इज एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फंड सो फिक्स एसेट्स इज सिक्स लैक माइनस एक्यूमुलेटेड डेप्रिसिएशन वन लैक फिफ्टी सो योर नेट ब्लॉक कम्स टू फोर लैक फिफ्टी इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इज थ्री लैक देन इन करंट एसेट्स यू हैव इन्वेंट्रीज वन लैक सनरी डेटर्स वन लैक फिफ्टी थाउजेंड कैश एंड बैंक बैलेंस वन लैक फिफ्टी थाउजेंड लोन्स एंड एडवांस वन लैक सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एंड फाइव लैक ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड is your total current assets less your sundry creditors and provisions of 2 lakh and 25000 respectively so that gives you net current assets of 3 lakhs okay then miscellaneous expenditure to the extent not return of is 50000 and total of application of fund comes to 11 lakh okay now we will calculate what is a debt equity ratio debt equity ratio so debt upon your equity so debt is what borrowed funds upon your owners fund okay so what is a borrowed funds borrowed funds is your secured loans plus unsecured loan that is 2 lakh plus 1 lakh so that comes to 3 lakh so it is 2 lakh plus 1 lakh divided by owners fund so how much is the owners fund 5 lakh plus 3 lakh Plus three lakh, so that comes to three lakh divided by eight lakh. Okay, so how much does that come to? Zero point three seven five, or thirty seven point five percent. Now, what does this imply? If your equity is hundred, your debt fund is Thirty-seven point five percent. So, looking at the percentage of debt fund to equity, we can make out that okay, your owners fund are able to cover your debts. Okay, so the liquidity position, that is long-term solvency position of the firm, is good. Okay, but to calculate whether the capital is optimally used that is there is a optimal utilization of proportion of debt and equity we need to calculate a leverage so for the purpose of leverage this is important okay the debt equity ratio it's an indicator of leverage so if you see this 37.5% debt is very less as compared to equity so the leverage is less okay say if debt ratio debt equity ratio was 80% that means if your equity is 100 your debt funds are 80 so the leverage ratio is very high okay so this was about a debt equity ratio so it is one of the important capital structure ratio okay which helps us to understand the long term solvency of a firm or an organization okay thank you.